Doom.com. Now, I had a favorite TV show as a kid, just like every kid. It was fucking Walker, obviously. Chuck Norris, he sung the fucking theme song, The Eyes of a Ranger. Now, that's fucking hot, dude. That was my joint when I was a kid. You did not fuck with that song. I seen him fucking catch a fucking chainsaw blade in his bare hands. Now, I, personally, never carried the burden of Walker. And it's a pretty fucking heavy burden to carry around with. You gotta fucking save your imaginary girlfriend, and you gotta save fucking C.D. Parker's fat ass. My buddy would be like, hey, no, I'm fucking Walker. Now, I should have been like, hold the phone here, motherfuck. I'm a 11. I got fucking shit going on right in my life. I got the same fucking khaki shorts on as you do. Why the fuck should you be Walker? I can throw a backspin kick just as better as any fucking 11 year old walking these streets. But no, I was resigned. I was like, you wanna be Walker, man? Fucking A, go to work, buddy. His best friend was a black cop who rarely got the limelight. His name was Corvette. Or some shit like that. Fucking Trevette. That's right. Walker's butt ass sidekick. Fucking always getting into some shit. Walker, guess what? Has to come through in a fucking pinch and save him. And I was comfortable with that. I was like, yeah, time me the fuck up. What the fuck ever. I don't have to save me. Come get my ass out of some shit. I'll hit the other second guy because, you know, there was always. Walker, main bad guy, Trevet, second tier bad guy. Wasn't it weird that the second tier bad guy was always like exactly knew the same shit as Trevet, whereas the number one bad guy always knew the same shit as Walker? The best part for me is that I absorbed the character so much when I'd fucking watch Walker, I'd be like, man, Trevet, do something sweet. So tomorrow when we fucking play, I can have some fucking balls or something. That was my self-esteem as a fucking kid encapsulized right there.